So it's been a few days since I've uploaded a video on the channel, but today I'm coming at you with what you guys have probably been waiting for. I'm going to talk about the new labor negotiations. I'm going to talk about the MLBPA. I'm going to talk about the owners. I'm going to talk about the details that are in these new plans that are being proposed. I'll give you my thoughts, my opinions, the facts as well. I don't necessarily have a plan for this video, but what I want to do with this is just kind of talk, kind of spitball, just kind of give you what's going on in my head up here about the current situation in baseball, because this could become a problem. Do I think it will be? No, but there definitely is a way where these negotiations could completely keep us out of baseball for this next season and that's not something any of us want so as always if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to leave a like on it that's the best way to show your support on the channel subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content remember to get in the comments down below let me know if you side with the players the owners your thoughts and opinions as well and don't forget you can follow me on twitter and instagram at giraffe mark links in the description always talking baseball over there also in the last video i mentioned a giveaway so i was supposed to pick the winner yesterday didn't upload so here's the winner right now carlos ortiz hit me up either on twitter or instagram show me a screenshot that proves it's your comment proves it's your youtube account i'll send you the hat so like i said a few days ago we had this leak we had the proposal from the owners going back to the players association about what they wanted to do for the 2020 season and just in typical fashion we are caught up again on the money right now haven't even really touched the safety protocols which apparently are another problem but the money is going to probably be the biggest holdup of this entire 2020 season besides the coronavirus what are they going to do with the money now the way that it was leaked the way it was put out there the wording of this proposal again is going to make the players look bad the owners are not stupid the owners are fairly smart in that aspect now where they screwed up is they were trying to pin the players against each other that that's not going to work. We will get to that in a second. But essentially, the owners made it seem like they were giving this fair deal. The players were going to get paid the right amount. The guys who are making less are going to get close to their full salary, while the guys at the top are going to be taking the most cuts. This isn't going to work. The players aren't going to do this. The way that this is set up right now for the pay is wild for the guys at the top. And again, it is not necessarily about that they won't be making a lot of money. Guys who are making 30 million and who would be making 5 million this year, yes, that's crazy. That would be an immense amount of money for anybody in this country, for anywhere in the world. And there are people who do not have jobs right now. I completely understand that. But the unemployment rate of America and the amount that these MLB players are supposed to be getting paid are not related. Please don't get it twisted. I can't stress this enough. It is horrible that people don't have a job. But the amount of money that the players deserve to be getting paid has nothing to do with other people losing their job. They are not connected at all. The two things both exist, but they have no correlation to each other. So please in the comment section, because I know I'm going to see it, don't call the players greedy because you're saying there's people losing their jobs. How can they not take $5 million? It is not relevant to the argument. The relevancy of this argument comes down to the percentages that the players are losing. It comes down to the amount of money that they're going to make less. The players agreed to the prorated contracts all the way back at the start of this coronavirus outbreak. They conceded to the owners there. And honestly, that might've been their first mistake was conceding, but they wanted to get baseball done this year. And that legitimately feels like a fair way. If we're not going to have fans in the stands, if we're only going to play half a season, in theory, they shouldn't get paid as much. That we all agree with. The players agree with it. I agree with it. I think you should too. Now the owners are trying to change it. They want to pay them less. This is not what they agreed on. This isn't beneficial for the players. The players have a contract. They agreed to the prorated thing. Now they're going to get prorated money. The owners have risk. They own the teams. They own all the risk. By trying to pay the players less because of this inherent risk of the COVID and not being able to have fans in the stadiums, making less money, not necessarily losing, making less, which again is a big, big difference in the wording here. Every single time you're seeing the wording go around, it makes it sound like the owners are going to be losing money. They're just not making as much. The revenues are still going to be very high. Apparently from the postseason TV deal, normally you'd make about like $800 million just off the postseason TV deals with the new format that's being proposed with more teams in it, it is going to be north of $1 billion. So you can't tell me they're losing money. We don't even know what the actual TV contracts for the regular season look like. And I'd imagine those are going to be pretty crazy. So the owners aren't losing money. And going back to the players getting paid, Jeff Passan broke it down really, really well on Twitter. So I'm going to read it out to you so you can understand why the players are not in on this. Every dollar a player is due would be paid at a certain percentage. The higher the dollars get, the lower those percentages go. All of the salaries for the season would be prorated too, meaning they would be based on playing 82 of the scheduled 162 games. And then he goes over the salary scale here so you can see what like the percentage and cuts are 0 to 563,000, 90%, 563 to 1,072.5, 1 million to 550, 5 million to 1040, 10 million to 2030, 20 million and up 20%. I know I'll give you a lot of numbers, but it's on the screen. You can read it. Starts off by talking about an example of a player who's going to be making the league minimum. Original salary for league minimum is going to be 563. His prorated salary would be 285, 228. He's due to make 90% of that, making it $256,706. So that's what the league minimum would do. For the league minimum, guys, it's not that bad of a deal. It's pretty close to getting your full contract, which I can understand. For guys like Mike Trout, for the guys at the top, 
really, really bad. Mike Trout's 2020 salary is $37,666,666. Prorated, that comes out to 19 million, basically. Of that 19 million, he would get 256,000 for that first chunk. So every single time he goes through those tiers, like I showed you earlier, he's hitting his percentages. So at the first chunk, he gets to 256,000. The second tier, he gets 160. 1 million for the third and fourth tier. 1.5 million for the fifth tier. And then 1.7 million or close to 1.8 million for the sixth. This gives him a total salary of 5.7, almost $5.8 million as opposed to the 19 million he's supposed to make. He'd basically be making 30% of what he should be from the regular prorated contract. He'd basically be getting a 70% pay cut off the prorated contract. That's horrible. I don't think anybody would want to work for that. You want to give it into real life terms? You get paid $100,000 normally for your job. They tell you to come back. Now you're making $30,000. Nobody wants to do that. You can see the fundamental issue there. That is super screwed up. That is not okay. It doesn't matter that he's getting paid still $5.8 million. Of course, that's a ton of money, but baseball players are always going to be getting paid a ton of money. They signed contracts. Why are we letting the billionaire owners get out of these contracts and pay them less, but we are calling the players greedy for trying to get as much money as possible. The players sign these contracts based on their value, based on their worth, based on their skill. Why are they being diminished? Because the owners don't want to spend as much money because they're losing fans in the stands. That is their risk. That is the owner's risk, not the players. When you own a major league franchise, when you own a sports team, that is the risk you assume. As a player, these are not risks you assume. The risk you assume is injury. That's what's going to hurt your money and not necessarily even in baseball. But you sign a contract based on how good you are. That is what you are supposed to be paid. And right now the proposal, that's not doing it. By the way, of Mike Trout's total contract for 2020, he'd be getting about an 85% pay cut. That's horrible. There's no way you take it. So you've got the owners wanting to pay the players less. You got the players wanting to make more. Clearly, you know where I stand on this situation. I want the players to get paid what they deserve, but I don't want the players to take these massive pay cuts in order to do it when it is not their problem. It is not their fault. It is not their risk. That falls on the owners. Why are people siding with the billionaires and calling the people below him greedy? Why are the billionaire owners not being considered greedy when they're trying to save extra money and not pay the players what they agreed upon? Why? It just, it's so backwards to me. I don't understand how people can continue to call the players greedy. People aren't necessarily educated. They don't know all the details and the information, which is why I want to make this video. I want to switch your opinion so that you actually get enlightened to the scenario because it really is ridiculous what I'm seeing on Twitter and Instagram. Just people going off on players. You even have some former players going off on the players. What are you talking about? There's no way you would be on that side. Like Mark Teixeira, idiot. He said some dumb stuff. Kyle Loesch the other day was saying some dumb things like, just shut your mouth. Why are you not siding with the players? Who sides with the billionaires here? Scrooge McDuck, it makes no sense. Like, ah, oh God, it's so frustrating. Big shout out to Max Scherzer, one of the best players in the league, as we know of, one of the best pitchers in baseball. Came out the other day, called out the owners. I absolutely loved it. He had this big post on Twitter. He rarely uses it for this, but finally a huge, huge player has stepped up and said something. We had Bryce Harper say something as well. It's just good that the big names in baseball right now are stepping up. They're saying, no, we're not taking this because really those guys, that's who people know the most. And that's the most effective way essentially to get out their information. It's it sets a tone for the MLB players. And I love Mad Max. I'm with you, bud. So I think that was a pretty like rambly jumbled video, but I wanted to get something out there for you guys today because it's been a few days and I know a lot of you are waiting to hear about what I think on this situation. So my thoughts and opinions haven't changed much. I'm siding with the players as always. Players, players, players over the owners. Pay them what they deserve. I'd love to know what you guys think about this scenario down in the comment section below. Do you side with the players? Do you side with the owners? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Remember to leave a like on the video as well as subscribe if you have not yet done so. Drop me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, everything. Links in the description as always. That's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. You guys know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this one right here as well as this and my most recent upload. So click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching. We need baseball back soon. I'm very optimistic it's coming. Don't worry. And I'll catch you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.